And so I think they're just going to go in, cut off any remaining uh, assistance that's making its way through, even though you have thousands of trucks backed up at the rock across. Has, has, anybody, has anybody asked uh, Matt Miller at the State Department or Admiral uh, Kirby uh, in the White House or Corrine Jean-Pierre or even the president himself, why we just don't send hundreds and hundreds of trucks worth of uh, aid uh, to uh, southern Gaza? I mean, do they think that the IDF would stop American trucks, would shoot at American trucks? I believe that they do. And, uh, of course, you know, this discussion of setting up this makeshift causeway on the Gaza coast uh, using U.S. military ships and contractors, um, Kelly Vlahos at Responsible Statecraft just wrote up a piece about where those ships are uh, on their way to Cyprus, and there's not even halfway there. The uh, estimates for the project are that they won't be completed until mid-May, and as, we've, uh, as you and your guests have been discussing on the show, uh, you know, it's estimated that well over a million Palestinians will be uh, in the throes of famine by that point. Uh, so, and of course, you know, we can't even get uh, often argue of aid shipments that the American people pay for. The Israelis won't let in through these border crossings that they control. And yet we're still providing more than as the Washington Post reported at the beginning of the month. Uh, we've approved secretly and, and sold more than 100 or provided Israel with more than 100 separate uh, foreign military sales since the uh, outbreak of the war in October. And uh, there's no sign of that ending. 